Okay, uh, I'm back by myself tonight. Uh, looking forward to doing this one. I've been wanting. This is the last uh, seven pod that I haven't tried that I wanted to try. It's a brown seven, and Judy was kind enough. She only had a few of these on her plants this year, and uh, so she sent. Uh, I believe she sent Ed one and myself one. So you'll be seeing two reviews of these. Um, I like the chocolate seven so much. I've just been bouncing off the walls to try this one, so uh, won't be quite as uh, as animated as Ron being here. But uh, since this is a pepper I really wanted to try, I want to have a want to be able to taste it more than uh, than laugh and uh, have fun. Okay, so let's. Uh, this is a big pod, very big. Um, about as big as any seven, probably the, well it is the biggest seven I've ever seen other than her evergreen pod. Um, so let's see what it looks like inside. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Smells. See that? Smells almost like a chocolate blue gelokia, but it still has a a hint of. Uh, uh oh, got that on the nose. Uh, Definitely smells more 70 than uh, than Bujoloki, but it just has a kind of a it's not real uh, capsicum. Uh, it smells kind of good. Uh, doesn't smell bad. So um, as you saw from my butch tea review with Ron, uh, the seeds pretty much killed me. So I'm more interested in the flavor. So I'm just going to pop this out and, uh, and go for the uh, go for the taste. You can see lots of oil on the inside there. And uh, this is a big pepper. Depending on the taste, I may eat the whole thing. Or if it doesn't start tasting very good right away, then uh, maybe not. So, okay, let's give it a try and uh, see what it's like. <sighs> really nervous. After that butch tea kind of kind of scared me after after it kind of got me skittish now. Okay. Uh, whew. Seven pod flavor. It's interesting how kind of a, a signature overtone to a seven pod. Pretty good. It's uh, just a hint of fruitiness. Almost tastes like a duva. Um, this one tastes a little more green. A little more uh, fresh. Get a slight uh, grassy, vegetable-y flavor. But uh, it's got uh, very thick skin, too. Yeah, you can see a lot of placenta in there. You can see that. But it's really a nice flavor. I'm really liking these brown peppers. Uh, it's a light brown inside. You know, when I had that uh, chocolate buccalokia that I grew, the inside was actually white. And uh, this one doesn't have that white. This is kind of a creamy color, so I can tell the placenta is not as thick, but we'll see how the heat comes on. When you bite into it, it's juicy. You feel the oil squeeze out. Feel warm.
speed's not overwhelming yet. Where are we at? Five minutes. So yeah, after <clears throat> eating that butch tea, the mouth, the burn, it was great. No complaints, but my stomach, about uh, two hours after eating the butch, sitting on the couch like, oh, miserable pain for like, well, it wasn't miserable pain, but it was, it was very uncomfortable, about 15, 20 minutes. In the morning, woke up about five o'clock in the morning, shot up, and I just had this heavy pain in the stomach. Had to run to the kitchen and get a big glass of water, and then I was okay. Um, but it still wasn't fun. This that's about all I'm gonna do. No, but big pepper. Flavor's good though. Okay, starting to finally get some burn. Aren't we? <clears throat> 622. All around the mouth. Nothing in the throat yet. <coughs> Good burn. Uh, Hard, hard burn. Back of the tongue, top of the roof of the mouth, back, back half. Lots of drool. Definitely got a good, definitely hotter than a Buchalokia. Good seven pod burn. Whew. I thought Judy had mentioned that this would be Oh, that's what I didn't get. Judy would say that this was uh, less, uh, less burn than a normal seven. But I'm not getting that. It's a pretty good burn. Back of the throat. When you breathe in, ouch. Mm. Shifting the legs. Warmth in the stomach. Not looking forward to the seven pod stomach burn. Ooh. Top back of the throat where it comes up with this. All oh, on fire. Oh. Very good burn. Ed, when you eat this whole pod, I think you're going to find it very hot. <sighs> Middle of the tongue back. Fire. Top of the throat. Pins and needles. Uh, where are we at? Eight minutes. Whew, hot. Very good burn. Whew. Not as bad as, say, the brain strain or the uh, Jonah. But relatively close. Definitely more than any Bujoloki or Naga or Dorset. Right here, top of the back of the throat. Still kind of building back here. Pretty much on the throat, it's, on the tongue it's gone, but still building back here in the throat, amazingly. Whew, this is nice. Looking at it, uh, I can't really tell. Only difference from the Dougla is it's much bigger, smoother skin, and I'm not seeing the kind of the greenish yellow that Judy described was the difference between the the Dougla or between the Dougla and the Seven Pod Brown. Dougla was supposed to have a red tone to it. And a seven pot brown was supposed to be kind of a greenish yellow. This one, I'll take a picture of it for the. It is, uh, still looks pretty red. But, uh, burn sticking, 10 minutes still. Had a good, stingy burn in the back of the throat. 
Very long ring. Ah. Turns pretty much. Tongue's pretty much gone. Still there though, a little bit. With the back of the throat. Still got a good. Ah. <laughs> pretty impressed with the heat of this. Um, even the butch. We ate the whole dang thing. And by the 10, 11 minute mark, we were fine. This has still got a good sizable burn. Really cool. Good flavor too. Uh, more thick, thick walled than a normal seven. And uh, I like it. Uh, definitely want to save some seeds for this. Okay, well, we're running out of time. Uh, we're at 12 minutes. No, we're 11 minutes. So I got about one more minute. I want to thank Judy again for sending me one of the few leaves she had. I think she said she had five total. So. Uh, still a little burn. Ah, very nice. Uh, you can see this one had the whole thing of the placenta there. So I can't imagine this one would have even been hotter. The one I had was very hot. So this probably would have put it up there in the Dougla. Uh, butch scorpion heat But uh, after the scorpion day before yesterday wasn't up for this half as you can see that's pretty uh So okay, but you don't know if you can tell it's still kind of got a nice red to it Good burp Whew. So Ed, I can't wait to see your review or if you're doing this whole thing I'm curious to see what you think of the heat or um, I think it's going to be up there, but we'll see. Okay, thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.